All right, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us today. Hello, welcome to the Kathy J Show. I am Kathy J. Yay! Everybody, this is Alicia Cook. She is the CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters. Um, but thank you for being here. I appreciate it. You are so welcome. Thank you. And thank you. My leg appreciates you coming in too. Everybody, so on Friday, just to update everybody, I went and had um, they took the boot off, they took the stitches out, and now we're just going to recover and I'm going to be scooting around till the end of February. So thank you guys for all of your love. I'm out on the roads driving with you, so be good to me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are talking about Big Brothers Big Sisters because you guys just made a huge mark in history by hiring you. Yes, I am so excited. My dream job, my dream it job. Is your dream job. Okay, so let's let's find out about you, Alicia. So thank you. you. You're from Detroit. I'm from Detroit, born and raised. Yes, I love it. Okay, you were raised by a single mom. Single mom of three daughters. By the time she was 20 years old. She had three kids by the time she was 20? By the time she was 20, that three is girls. hard living. Oh hard my goodness. living, yes, okay. yes. Uh, okay, single mom. Mm -hmm. So you also then turned into a big mom, or the, a mom for your two siblings, right? Because yeah. that's how it is, all hands on deck. When yeah, when they're working and they're out and about, um, trying to just make a living, trying to just survive, yeah, right. that's what happens. Yeah, so, you, so a lot of responsibility put on you at a young age. Absolutely. Who was it that helped you? remember that you were also were a superstar and not just your second mom. <laughs> oh my gosh, I talk about them all the time. Yeah? Part of why I do what I do. So I had a third grade teacher. Her name was Stephanie Jackson and I loved her so much. She loved our class so much. In fact, she moved to the fourth grade. So she was my to third. To stay with you? To stay with oh, us. that's awesome. Third and fourth grade teacher. <laughs> and, um, and I'm still in touch with her today. In fact, um, the job I was at pri prior to coming to Big Brothers Big Sisters, she came to our 25th anniversary gala from Chicago. And then um, when I was in middle school, I had a teacher named Miss DeRusso. And then when I was in high school, I literally had a teacher, Deborah Robinson, who I think saved me from becoming the teen mom. That's a story for a different show. Right, but, 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 but she it was there. all tied in. And then finally, I credit um, where I am today to a woman named Dr. Vivian Carpenter, who just literally, I was in um, college and she wanted me to go study in Japan. And I told her, I don't know nothing about Japan, but Toyota and Godzilla, and I don't like either <laughs> right, one of right. them. No Mothra, but she, I don't need it. None of that, but she pushed and she pushed and um, make a long story short, I ended up in Japan and it's where I found my love of mentoring. I'll tell you about that later. But when I think about it, she was literally trying to pluck me from um, a situation that I shouldn't have been in. I was a great student. Yeah. I was dating a guy who sold drugs. Oh. And um, it took a while, like when I was like 30, I was like, oh my gosh, she had a plan for my future right, right. that I didn't even see. That's why she pushed me so hard. But, yes. And that's why we do what we do, right? That's exactly right. Because as adults, we've gone through some of the problems. Like I've seen men destroy women's lives or I've seen the vice versa. Good, good guys that got with the wrong girl. And I was like, oh, you had such a future. Yep. Um, things like that. I totally agree. And as an adult, if we can help kids or children avoid those pitfalls Absolutely. with just a little encouragement, it can go a long way in their life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So when we come back, everybody, we're going to talk to Alicia more about why it took so long for Big Brothers Big Sisters to hire an African-American CEO. We're also good. Now, look at you Ooh. smiling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's just Big Brothers Big Sisters now. True. It's all of it them. It is all, it's all of them. So let's get into that. We'll be right back. Thank you. Kathy J. Ramos Law is an official partner of the Kathy J. Show. He's a medical doctor and a lawyer. Ramos Law, what makes us different makes us better. Kathy J. Welcome back to the Kathy J. Show, everybody. So today we're talking with Alicia Cook. She is the CEO of Big Brothers Big Yay! Sisters of Colorado. All right. <laughs> yes. So cool. So you're the first African-American CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Prior to you getting CEO, which is so cool. Okay, so you, you, we left off with you had a mentor say go to Japan. Yes. And you did it. I did it. That's awesome. I did it. It was really scary. My 
first time on a plane leaving the inner city of Detroit, Michigan. I and went you went to Japan. All the way to Japan, and there was an earthquake the first day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they fed me fish with head on. So, so you were like, I made a big mistake. I made a big mistake. <laughs> but I ended up absolutely loving it. The best decision in my life. And it's where I found my love of mentoring. I love that because while you were there in Japan, you ended up in a mentor program. Well, at the time, there were a lot of children. Hip hop yeah. had just become yes. popular. Uh -huh. And let's just say a lot of people were interested in hip hop artists leaving a lot of Naomi Osaka's in Japan. Uh, okay. Half black, half Japanese. And the Japanese didn't know what to do with that. And so these kids were trying to find their identity. And you helped them. And I that. helped them. And that's, that's where I said, I want to do something like this the rest of my life. Because it feels good it when you help somebody. So good. That's exactly it right. Felt so good. And it showed me kids need help wherever you go, no, anywhere in this world. And mentoring applies no matter where you go. Exactly. So this video that we're showing right now, this is the Big Brothers Big Sisters video. Just saying, like you said, kids, no matter where you go, need help. Absolutely. All colors, male, female, they all need help. They, they need mentorships. Need so after you left Japan, where did you go from there? So I came home a little bit actually got married, had children, moved my kids back to Japan for nice. a couple of years. Nice. So, yes, yes, very passionate about international study and international travel. Then I came back and I spent 12 years at another nonprofit called Friends First where we taught teens how to be mentors to to younger teen, younger kids. And then finally after 12 years there, wrote this amazing help to write an amazing curriculum. I felt like my job is done, what's next? Yeah. And that's when I started getting all the recruiting calls for Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Colorado. Yes. And I was kinda like, mm, kinda scary. Yeah. Kinda had my own opinions about the organization. And then, um, let's just say, everything just fell into place, my interview process. The biggest thing for me, and Kathy, you know this, at my age, I have to be authentically who I am in the workplace, uh -huh. at home, uh -huh. and everywhere. And through my interview process, they showed me they are ready for Yes. Yeah, because you know you. people like you yes. and me, we're big personalities. Well, yes, we are, right. We have and big so, personalities. Yes, and, and if they're trying to be this buttoned up, tight, old school organization, they can't hold on like that. Yes. You have to move with the times. You have to see what the kids are doing, especially after the pandemic. Everything has changed. Yes. With what the community and the families are going through. Yes. And you can't connect with when 80% of the people you serve are black and brown. Yes. And the organization does not look like them. It's does a not huge feel like point. them. Yes. It is, it is critical. It holds you back. It holds you back from um, the, the communities that yes. most need us. And, and you're absolutely right. And that just gave me goosebumps. But it's also a, a sign. It's also a statement they're making by saying we're not holding Alicia back. Yeah, you know, like we are not going to hold anyone back anymore. Like yes. it doesn't matter what color you are. We're putting our mouth, our money where our mouth is, and we're going to make sure that everyone knows that they have the ability to achieve whatever dream they want. Absolutely, absolutely. And 2020, as we know, was a big shift yes. between the pandemic. Uh, where marginalized youth are most impacted by the pandemic with the racial injustice that we saw. Thank God for justice for Ahmaud Arbery. Yes. But that just made... It hurts. It, it, it impacts it. Yes. Yes. And I feel like it, but it ushered in this era of it's time for significant change and our previous ceo was awesome he built an amazing board yeah for but it's me, ready for you to take but over ready. I, ready i agree with you so when we come back we're going to get into all of that we're going to talk about how the pandemic impacted big brothers big sisters Absolutely. and how you at home everybody can be mentors we can all do it together we'll be right back kathy J. oakwood homes is an official partner of the kathy J. show oakwood homes building happiness Welcome back to the Kathy J Show, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this half hour. We're just hanging out, having a good day, talking with Big Brothers Big Sisters of Colorado. This is CEO Alicia Cook of Big Brothers Big Sisters. Congratulations on your promotion. Thank you. Gosh, you make me feel yeah. so good. You have earned You this. make me want to do an exactly. even better right. job. And you're, gonna do, you're doing a great job, and it's because you know what these kids need. Yeah. Yeah, so... so I was one of them. Exactly. That's what it is. So let's talk about when it comes to being a mentor um what kind of what i mean like are you, 
what what do we need to to be a mentor? I yeah. always go back to that starfish story, everybody, where the kids just throw in the starfish, and and that person's like, "What are you doing? You're wasting your time." And the kid throws the starfish, and he's like, "I just made a difference to that starfish." Yeah, goes it threw it back in the ocean. So we could all make a difference in the smallest of ways. Tell me what you need from people. Well, first of all, I think a lot of people um, don't understand mentoring. They think they don't have time. Mm -hmm. Money. They think they don't have money. They wonder how are they going to connect with this young person. First of all, the time, literally four to six hours a month. That's it. Four to six hours a month. You can do more because especially if our youth are preparing for college or career readiness, we spend a lot of time with them. But four to six hours is all you need. Doesn't take money. In fact, we don't encourage you to spend your own money. I was going to ask you about on that. our young people. Okay. They, there might be multiple siblings in the home. You don't. You don't ever want to compete with the parents. Right. You want to keep kids safe, and you don't want them to ever feel like they owe you anything. So we don't encourage you to spend money. We do incredible training. We do trauma informed care training. We do cultural competency training, and then we also host a lot of activities so that you can just bring your little we call them big in and little littles, I love that and littles and um, we, you can just bring them to events we have three programs one is our traditional community based program where, where we're serving about 523 matches in the Denver metro area in Pikes Peak right now wow. and that's where you apply to be a mentor we find an awesome young person and um, contrary to a lot of people's belief, we just don't throw you with anybody, Kathy. There is a lot of strategy that goes into a good match. We match you. Yeah. You meet twice, once or twice a month under the supervision of our team, case management yeah. calls, yeah. checks in. Then we have our amazing sports buddies program, which I love that program. I, We're okay. serving about 300 and something youth. And that we call it a site base where we plan activities for sporting activity, physical awesome. activity. And it started in Colorado and now has spread across the nation. Yes. Go Colorado, yeah, go Big Colorado. Brothers, Big Sisters. But it spread across the nation specifically to attract more men to mentoring. Yes. And so we meet at a site, we do we do spectator sports, fishing, skiing, volleyball, dodgeball, anything to just get them active. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then after that, they sit and talk about critical issues or or they just, you know, hang out, chit right. chat, rap. That's our Sports yeah. Buddies program, serving over 323 youth. And we just partnered with Colorado Health Foundation um, to provide Sports Buddies programs because it's getting kids out and active. You gotta be after out. After being in for two years for COVID. Yes. And kind of combating some of the um, physical ailments that sometimes, um, affects you know some of our kids oh no so, for sure so it provides mental health physical social emotional so wellness. many amazing partnerships uh, help you at big brothers big sisters so you can do everything that you're talking yes, about absolutely you just mentioned though covid in the yeah. past two years mm -hmm. there's a real need everybody right now to be helping these kids because of what has happened during absolutely. covid explain that to everybody out there well, first of all, um, I don't know if you all know this, but Children's Hospital just declared a state of emergency on the social, emotional, mental wellness of our children from being isolated, from um, being separated from some of their programs mm -hmm. that, that were really wraparound support to help some of these families. Because you got to remember, we serve some of the most impoverished families yep. in our community. and kind of lost all those wraparound supports and when we were just trying to figure out, can we even come out of our houses? Yes, right. Can you imagine how that affects young children to you lose kind of all their no, wraparound? No, everything and that was a support group. Especially if they're not in the best home situation. Exactly, and I, yeah, my, I think everyone was, my heart was breaking, worried about those children. Absolutely. That had no outlet. No that outlet. Might not have had, might have had anger issues in their home that they couldn't escape or whatever was happening with them. No, no one to lift them up. Yep. Yeah, so exactly. I, I get that. So it, we started out with virtual programming just like everyone else, but our, our youth, our bigs, the families were saying, my child needs their big. They need to see they them. They need their big, That's yes. why Sports Buddies was great. We did over 100 outdoor Sports Buddies activities 
in person. No, all safety yeah, rules. It's awesome. But we though, had right. no breakouts. But these kids needed that so we much. We have so many child th therapists that come on, and they always say quality. Quality, quality over quantity. Quality you over know, quantity. You know, 20 hours a month isn't good if you're not giving them the right kind of quality. Yep. But if you can do the four to six hours a month of quality, which is listening. Yep. Right? You know, I don't have to go to school for this. It's normal stuff, right, that I could do as a mentor. Yes. It's just being there. Yes. And so many people, I think, you don't, the problem with mentoring is sometimes you don't see the, the impact until five, 10, ten, 20 years yes, later. Yes. Like with my mentors, when I told you I had that aha moment, I was 30 right, when I had like, that oh, moment. She <gasps> did it. That's, that's, that's what she wanted for me. But it and made that's a difference. what happens with our young people. I mean, we have our mentors volunteer their time to completely change the trajectory, help change the, the trajectory, trajectory of a child's life. They're not their saviors. Yes, well, Our, stop right there, because those not are my questions. Saviors. That's what I want to ask you. When we get back, I have a little bit more questions for you. Yes. We're going to come right back to that, not your saviors. We'll be right back. Thank you. Kathy J. The Colorado Lottery is an official partner of the Kathy J Show. Colorado Lottery, play on. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to the Kathy J Show. So how can you get involved with Big, Big, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Colorado? There's a lot of different ways, and Alicia is the CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters Colorado. Uh, so I want to just say real fast, to be a mentor, you fill out paperwork. The child's family, they filled out paperwork. Yep. Um, you have kids currently on a waiting list. Yes, Okay. We so do. So that's how you get matched, for that, right? Yes, yes. And well, there's a lot of intentionality, several interviews. Okay, good. Several interviews, which is good. Child safety, again, is everything to us. Yep. Training, all of that. And then, but that doesn't stop once you get matched. And then we love when it's match day for us because we get to look at the child and all the beauty and the potential in this child. And Kathy, if you remember, we closed and said that it's not about saving a child. We are Thank not you. saviors. No, we we're not. Are we are doing our best to work with the family to bring out the God-given beauty, the God-given potential that is in every child. But sometimes when you just live in life and in survival mo mode, especially kind of when you're the older child yes. and you have a lot of siblings and parents are working. It's busy. It's, it's busy. Right. It's, it's busy. not about you. It's not it, about right. We had, um, I, I'll use a quote from one of our youth. Um, she said that when she is with her mentor, she feels like it's the only time that is all about her. Oh, and I love that. Is that is all about her, that everything right. is all because about her. Because you're there as a mentor to remind these kids they're important. Yes. They have that gift, like you said, the God-given gift. You really need mentors, men of color. Yes, we really do. I, yes. We really do. 80%. I feel like I've been saying this for years. Yes. That you guys need men of color to step up and be a mentor. Yes. Okay. Everybody so you, I have been saying it for yes. years. Okay. But I think we Why have is to do so some things on our end a to attract people of I'm color. I'm cool with that, yes. And we are working very hard at that. We have some great programs. We're attracting diverse staff. We are making our mark in the community. Yes. If anything, I believe in showing up in the community, that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And especially for people of color, you got to earn our trust a little you do. bit. You I really completely do. agree. Yes. You really do. So you got to show up in the community. But yes, um, mentors, particularly males of color, females of color, or any of the intersectionalities, it doesn't mean because you are you are white, you can't be a mentor. In fact, I think there's beauty to bringing two different cultures for to, sure. together. However, we know, data tells us, that kids, young people, all I yeah. need people who look like, like me. you. I need exactly. to, be able to sit and see it. They made it. They made it. Exactly. I can do the same. Yep. Thing. I feel the same thing when I see a female yes. make it Absolutely. somewhere. I'm like, she did it. Absolutely. She's, she's finally in the Oval Office. There's and, a woman there. You know, like it means something when it's something that you see in the mirror. Absolutely. Yeah. At our last gala, I'll tell the story really okay, quickly. Okay, you got a minute. It, a minute. Okay. I'll tell it really fast. <laughs> but we had a young girl who had had a, a big before, but the big moved away and she didn't know if she wanted to do it again but her brother still had a big she came to our gala she saw me on the stage 
Her name happened to be Elysia. Get out! She came up to me and said to see a black woman named Elysia who looks like me. How do I get another big? There you go! And that's the way it works. So she, we're working on that now. And I happen to have two of my soul sisters with me. They said, I'll take her, I'll take her. They were kind of fighting over her. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll take her. <laughs> felt so good. And I think that's so important. That's what matters. Now, mind you, she had a great relationship with her mentor who was white before. She just happened to have moved. Yep. But she's really excited at the opportunity to get somebody who looks like her. And we're really excited at the opportunity for all of you to really become a mentor and change someone's life, everybody. Go to biglittlecolorado.org. You can also find them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, too. They also take donations as well. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so one more time, everybody. Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Colorado is biglittlecolorado.org. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.